Hello everyone, welcome back to another maths lesson video. This is teacher Marge and we will be discussing about addition of integers and the rules of the rule of sign. Uh, paano mag-add ng mga integers at ano ang ilalagay nating sign, positive ba or negative? But before that, let's have some terminologies. Ano-ano yung mga salita or group of words or phrases na kailangan ninyong malaman bago tayo mag-add ng integers. Una, we have what we, we call the set of integers. This is composed of all positive counting numbers, all negative counting numbers, and zero. The second termino terminology is the absolute value of a number. Ano bang ibig sabihin natin sa absolute value of a number? It is the distance of an integer from zero on the number line. So, Kung i-graph natin yan sa number line, bibilangin lang natin yung units na iniligtaw niya, yung layo niya from 0 to the ano, to the specified integer. Or pwede nating sabihin yun yung value ng integer without its sign. So just remove the sign, then that's the absolute value. So pag sinabi nating absolute value, uh, makikita, makikita natin ang isang number na naka-enclosed sa dalawang vertical line, okay, na parallel lines. So, let's say we have uh, positive 2, okay? Ang basa natin dito ay absolute value of positive 2, okay? So, we read these two lines here as absolute value of, okay? Absolute value of whatever the quantity is inside these lines. So, ito yung ano na yan. Positive uh, 2, ano yung absolute value niya? So, we'll just take the number inside, that's 2. Okay? Kung halimbawa naman, meron tayong negative 2 na nasa loob. So, we read this as absolute value of negative 2. So, absolute value of negative 2. Ano yung absolute value ng negative 2. It's also 2. So, in this case, pwede nating i-conclude i that all absolute values are positive. Okay? But actually, when we talk about absolute value of any quantity, it's the distance of that quantity from 0. So, regardless of the sign. Kasi pag Kinonsider natin yung mga signs ng mga numbers or ng quantity, sinasabi niya kung nasaan ba siya, nasa kanan ba siya ng zero or nasa, negative, nasa kaliwa ba siya ng zero. Pag tinanong kayo, ano yung absolute value halimbawa ng negative 50? The absolute value of negative 50 is 50. And what is the absolute value of, of positive 50? It's also 50. So, ganun yan. Bakit importante yan? Kasi import, um, diyan magdidepende yung ating sagot, numerical, yung numerical value ng ating sum. With regards to addition of integers, meron tayong tinatawag na rule of signs. Uh, this will determine what are you going to do with your addends. Ano ba yung mga numbers? Kung pareho, add the absolute absolute values of these integers and then copy the sign. So, paano yung rule of signs sa like signs? Pag nagko-compute na tayo, positive 4 plus positive 8. Okay? So, as you can see, pareho silang positive. So, ano yung rule of signs natin dun sa like signs? Ang sabi ay add. Yeah, add natin yung mga absolute value. Okay? Adding 4 and 8, it's 12. So, yun ang magiging sagot natin. Now, how about the sign? Copy the common sign. Ano ba yung sign na meron sila? Positive. So, yung sagot natin ay positive 12. Pareho din kapag may negative number tayo. If we have negative 3 plus negative 8. Okay? Dahil pareho silang negative ang gagawin natin ay ia-add natin yung kanilang mga absolute value. So, tatakpan muna natin pansamantala yung mga signs nila. That will be 3 plus 8. And what is 3 plus 8? It's 11. And then, we 
copy the common sign, which in this case, it's negative. Okay, ma'am, paano po pag marami yan? Walang problema, basta pare-pareho sila, ang gagawin nyo lang, pagsasama-samahin nyo lang yung mga numbers na yon. So, if we have negative 3 plus negative 5 plus negative 8 plus negative 11, ano yung kalalabasan ng sagot natin? So, ang gagawin natin muna, anong sinabi? We add the absolute values. Dahil like signs yan. Ha? Ang gagawin natin, pagsasama-samahin lang natin. We just add them. So, 3 plus 5, that's 8. Plus 8 is 16. Plus 11 is 27. At dahil lahat naman sila ay negative, we copy the common sign. It's negative 27. So, that's how you add integers with like signs. For unlike signs, ang gagawin natin is to subtract the absolute values of these integers. So, imbis na nag add tayo sa like signs kasi ina-add natin yung absolute values nila, ang gagawin natin sa unlike signs, magsasubtract tayo ng absolute values ng mga integers. Pagkatapos nun, we copy the sign of the integer with the higher absolute value. Ganito mag-add ng mga numbers with unlike signs. So, suppose we have negative 3 plus positive 8. So, anong mapapansin natin dyan? Yung isa negative, yung isa positive. So, anong gagawin daw natin? We get the absolute value of these numbers. Ito, we'll just take 3. Dito naman, we'll take 8. Tapos magsasubtract lang tayo. We just get the difference. So, it will be 8 minus 3. Yung mas malaking absolute value minus yung mas maliit. So, 8 minus 3, it will be 5. So, ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay 5. Now, paano naman yung sign? Ang sabi doon, copy the sign of the integer with the higher absolute value. So, between 3 and 8, ang mas mataas ay 8. Okay? Mind you people ha, ito ay yung kanilang mga absolute values. And by comparing these three, syempre mas malaki yung 8. So babalik tayo sa kanya. Ano ngayon ang sign niya? Ang sign niya ay positive. So yun ang ating kokopyahin. So our answer will be positive 5. Okay? So ganyan. Paano naman kung halimbawa, negative 30 plus positive 12? Okay? Ano ang, magiging, ano ang lalabas? Paano natin gagawin yan? Again, we get the absolute value. Nung 30, negative 30 at saka ng negative 12. Ano yung kanilang mga absolute values? Okay, negative 30, that's 30. Neg positive 12, that's 12. Then we subtract. 30 minus 12, that's 18. Ano naman ngayon ang sign natin? Kunin natin yung absolute value na mas malaki. In this case, it's 30. Yun ang mas malaki ang absolute value. Ang sign niya ay negative. So, ibig sabihin yun ang kukunin nating sign. Negative 18. Suppose we have negative 48 plus negative, uh, positive, positive 16. Okay? Negative 48 plus positive 16. So, alin na mas mataas ang absolute value? So, kunin natin yung number na meron sila. 48 at saka 16. Okay? Dahil magkaiba yung kanilang sign, magsasubtract tayo. So, 48 minus 16. Ito ay mga absolute values. That is 32. Okay? And then, tingnan natin alin yung mas malaki ang absolute value. That would be 48. At ang 48 ay may sign na negative. Kaya yung negative na yan, yun ang gagamitin natin para sa ating sagot. So, it's negative 32.
So, paano naman kung halimbawa binigyan kayo higit sa dalawa yung i-admin nyo na mga integers? Tapos, hindi lahat positive, hindi lahat ay negative. So, paano ang gagawin natin? So, suppose we uh, are given negative 2 plus negative 3 plus positive 5 plus negative 12 plus negative 7. Okay? Ano yung ating magiging sagot dyan? So, what will be the final answer for this uh, expression? So, paano ang gagawin natin? Una, ang pinakamainam na gawin natin dyan ay pagsamasamahin natin yung lahat ng negative at pagsamasamahin natin lahat ng positive. Ano-ano yung mga negatives natin? Okay, negative 2, negative 3, negative 12, and negative 7. So, meron tayong apat na negatives. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dyan, computein natin yan dito sa baba. Okay, so lagyan natin ng hati yung ating solution. So, we'll have negative 2, negative 2, negative 3, negative 12, and negative 7. So, ano ngayon ang lalabas dyan? Dahil lahat yan ay, we're going to add that, dahil lahat naman yan ay puro negative, syempre, yung magiging sagot natin ay negative din. Okay? So, 2 plus 3, that's 5, plus 12 is 17, plus 7 is 24. So, susulat natin dito. Lipat natin yung equal sign natin dyan. Dito. So, negative 24. Okay? Ito yun. Okay, trace natin. Yung negative 24 saan galing yan? Doon sa ating pinagsama-samang mga negatives. Tapos, isama natin yung natira na positive. In this case, isa lang naman yung positive natin. So, we just add positive 5. So, dalawa na lang yung number natin. Isang negative at saka isang positive. So, paano nga ang ginagawa doon? Pag meron kayong isang negative at isang positive, ang gagawin natin ay mag-subtract ng kanilang absolute values. Ano yung absolute value ng negative 24? This is 24. And this one here is 5. Yan yung absolute values nila. And what are we going to do if they have different signs? Ay, sorry. Hindi ko na ilagay yung positive 5. Ipat natin ha para mas makita ninyo. Okay, positive 5. Anyways, positive numbers can be written without the plus sign. Okay, so positive 5 is 5, yung negative 24 is 24. Pag pinag-uusapan natin ay yung kanilang mga absolute values. We subtract that 24 minus 5, that would be 19. Okay, 19 yung difference nila. Alin ngayon yung mas malaking absolute value? Yung 24. So dahil 24 yung absolute value na mas malaki, kukunin natin yung sign niya, which is negative. At yung negative na yan, yun ang ating kukopyahin doon sa ating final answer. So, kapag meron kayong higit sa dalawang addends at nagkataon, iba-iba yung signs nila, ang pinakamainam, pagsamahin nyo muna lahat ng positive, pagsamahin nyo lahat ng negative, and then that's the time you apply the rule of signs with unlike signs. Okay, so ang lagi natin tatandaan, if we're going to add integers, there are two rules of signs that we need to take note of. Yung rule of signs para sa mga pare-pareho, pare-pareho yung signs nila. So pare-parehong positive or pare-parehong negative. Ang gagawin niyo dyan, dahil pareho yung kanilang mga signs, you add the absolute values of those integers and then copy the common sign. Kung ang i-add naman ninyo ay magkaiba ang signs, ang gagawin ninyo, you subtract the absolute values of these integers tapos kokopyahin ninyo yung sign ng integer na may mataas, na may mas mataas na absolute value. That's how you add integers 
in applying the rule of science properly. Hope you like this video and learned something from it. Kung gusto ninyong i-replay yung video para sa para mas maintindihan nin, na ninyo lalo, feel free to do so. Thank you and God bless.